Good morning everyone. So as with every single video I seem to ever do, this is my third or fourth time filming this. But basically this is an announcement video to say that um, if you have accidentally or purposely um, or whatever reason updated your Nintendo Switch to 13.0.0, .0 .0, uh, this was released on September 16th 2021, so about five days ago, um, and Atmosphere would have not been able to work or stopped working um, on 13.0.0 as it didn't support this latest Nintendo Switch firmware but as with most Atmosphere updates they come quite swiftly so just um, four or five days after um, Atmosphere have actually done a pre-release so this was released two days so it only took them three days to do um, and you can run custom firmware on 13.0.0 so first things first this is a pre-release, so Atmosphere do this all the time with their pre-releases where they put it out there to the public, everyone can download it, and then it says here, um, if any bugs are reported whilst using Atmosphere in pre-release, they will be fixed and the build will be updated. So by all means, feel free to submit a bug report if you do find anything uh, not working with it. Um, and hopefully they'll fix it but also you can go up to their issues up here and see if anyone has already reported it and hopefully it'll be fixed in the next version so that's the has to keep in mind probably by the time this video comes out or by the time most of you watch it it will be in full release and it'll be available to download on your all-in-one updater on your switch so as with the last version of um, atmosphere Fusey primary was removed and it was changed to Fusey. So you can see that file just down here. Um, and it's just Fusey.bin. It's no longer Fusey primary.bin. So you need to make sure you've got Fusey to run this. And that is pretty much um, all I'm going to say, except for it has support for 13.0.0. So that is the whole point in updating to this version of Atmosphere is that if your switch is 13.0.0 get this is the version you're going to need to um, run custom firmware there is um, quite a few other notes here in the change log but with every video I do and um, on this channel I've not hid away from it I am not a pro I do not know the intricacies or the small things that go behind the scenes of atmosphere I'm here just to have a good time and run custom firmware on my Switch. I'm just here to announce to you and how to use the majority of homebrew apps. There is so much that goes on behind Switch of very clever people that know what they're doing and know how to create this software. And it's not as easy as having, there's your software, there, go and use it. There are so many things that go on behind the scenes here and in the background of the software that we just do not know. I'm not going to go into what SD card login is. NCM has been updated to reflect the latest official behaviours. I don't know what I'm talking about, so I'm not going to go into it. There is a big change log here for the people that do know what they're talking about. Um, and if you want to put in the comments of what these things are and let me know, great. Um, it will expand my knowledge. I'm always willing to learn more. But I don't feel confident enough to talk about it on the channel about what all these little things are because I don't want to give out false information. And lastly, general system stability improvements to enhance the user's experience. So of course Atmosphere aren't trying to make their software worse. It's trying to it's trying to improve it every time. So hopefully it does improve. Hopefully it adds stability improvements um, and it enhances our experience as it says. Um, I'm sure it does. But the important thing is, if you're on 13.0.0, this is the version you're going to need, 1.1.0. So, as it is not in the all-in-one update yet, as it's a pre-release, you're going to have to manually install this. And that is a matter of downloading the fusey.bin, downloading this zip file, and copying those over to the root of your SD card. Real easy to do. I'm not going to show you how to do it, because YouTube frowned upon that for whatever reason. But I, it's there for you to do. So let's pop back over to our switch quickly. And here it is. So if you go into the all-in-one switch updater, um, 
and go down to update atmosphere it doesn't have the latest version of atmosphere showing as available to download because what this does this links to the front page of their github where their releases are as it's a pre-release it's not there quite simple um, so you're going to need to manually install it if you want to but you're probably better off just waiting until it's released and updating it via this way there is a video i think it's two or three videos ago i released of how to update atmosphere using the all-in-one switch up data please go back to that video and watch it and you will see it is a very straightforward process um, and once you've done that just turn your switch off reboot in however you uh, whatever injector you use and into your bit latest payload and you will be there that is it it's very easy to use so going back to um, atmosphere's latest release it's there for you um, it's on this website here I will put that in the description um, but it's basically on their releases um, page it's at the very top but this is the latest release 1.0.0. This is a pre-release, um, but it will show up in the all-in-one updater very soon as it always does. Um, I do recommend waiting and updating that way as there is no need to update 13.00 just yet. Um, all the games work on the previous version. Nothing is forced you to. And in all honesty, there isn't much here except for Bluetooth audio, which is you're gonna go, I need that right now. Um, and even Bluetooth audio. We've gone so long without it, and it's very much a workaround to make it work that it's not needed right now. Um, there is talks about how you it does increase a boot speed, but you're talking seconds. Um, so anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, really appreciate it. Uh, take care, guys. Thank you very much.